everyone! Welcome back to Samira's Amazing Adventures. And today, we are going to learn about pasty butt and chicks and other birds and how to prevent and cure it. One common issue that can quickly become life-threatening for young chicks is pasty butt, a condition where dropping stick to a chick's vent, creating a blockage. This blockage prevents further droppings, leading to toxicity and potentially death if left untreated. Time is of the essence when dealing with pasty butt, making it crucial for chick owners to recognize and address the problem immediately. New chick owners in particular need to be aware of this condition as it can arise unexpectedly and escalate rapidly. The good news is that pasty butt is both preventable and treatable with prompt action and proper care. This guide will equip you with the knowledge and practical steps to ensure your chicks stay happy, healthy, and pasty butt free. Pasty butt, also known as pasted vent, occurs when droppings dry and harden around a chick's vent, effectively sealing it shut. This blockage is a serious health hazard as it prevents the chick from eliminating waste. Several factors contribute to pasty butt, including stress, dehydration, and improper brooding temperatures. Stress during shipping, for instance, can disrupt a chick's digestive system, leading to pasty butt. Dehydration thickens droppings, making them more likely to stick. Similarly, if the brooder is too cold, chicks tend to huddle for warmth, reducing their movement and increasing the risk of droppings accumulating around the vent. Understanding the causes of pasty butt is key to implementing effective preventive measures. If you notice a chick with a visibly blocked vent, immediate action is required. Gently hold the chick and soften the hardened droppings with warm water using a cotton ball or soft cloth. Avoid pulling or rubbing vigorously as this can injure the delicate skin. Once softened, the blockage should come off easily. After cleaning, pat the area dry and apply a thin layer of petroleum jelly to prevent further sticking. Monitor the chick closely for recurrence and consult a veterinarian if the problem persists or the chick shows signs of distress. Remember, early detection and treatment are crucial for successfully resolving pasty butt. Preventing pasty butt is always preferable to treating it. Ensure your chicks have access to fresh water at all times. Adding a teaspoon of sugar to their water for the first day or two can help prevent dehydration during shipping. Maintain a clean and dry brooder with appropriate bedding. The ideal brooding temperature for the first week is around 95 degrees Fahrenheit, gradually reducing by five degrees each week. Handling your chicks gently and regularly can help reduce stress and encourage them to move around, further minimizing the risk of pasty butt. By following these preventive measures, you can significantly reduce the likelihood of your chicks experiencing this common ailment. Hope you like this video! Don't forget to like and subscribe!